Hi folks and welcome to the Man Cave. Well today I am super excited. Well the postman has just arrived and he's just delivered this all the way from Italy. It is the SC Project Adventure Exhaust. It's the titanium one with the carbon end cap for my R1250 GS behind me. So I've been waiting for this now for about a month. I ordered it online from SC Project on the 12th of October. It is now the 15th of November, so just over a month from ordering it to the postman delivering it to my house, and I'm so excited. So I haven't opened it yet. It's been sat here for a few hours, and I've resisted the temptation, but I think what we're gonna do now is get a sharp knife and you can see it's still got the genuine product seals on it so nobody's opened it it's hopefully going to be a great exhaust not too noisy it's euro 5 compliant which basically means it's slightly different to euro 4 whereas euro 4 you can undo the two screws at the back and take the baffles out Euro 5 basically means they've welded them in and you can't get them out so I'm not really fussed about a noisy exhaust so without further ado I can't contain my excitement. Let's open the box and see what I've got for my money. We are into the box. Oh, so what have we got then? That's the invoice. Have a little bit of bubble wrap. Have a look at that in a moment. Approval certificate, always handy in case you get stopped by the police. So it all seems to be well packaged. And this is what we're after. Well, hopefully they've sent me the right one. So let's open it up and have a look. Oh, <laughs> OMG. Boys and girls, that looks absolutely beautiful. That's the end of the exhaust Euro 5. You can't take the baffles out because they are basically kind of welded in this. That's not a problem for me because I'm not gonna take the baffles out. <laughs> I'm so excited, can't you tell? So I've taken everything out of the box, laid it neatly on my workbench just to make sure all the bits and pieces that we need to do the installation are actually present. So this is what we get. I've had a look and everything is there. So we are good to go. So what do we get then? We get a set of, well, it's not instructions. It's basically an expanded diagram. So no instructions are within the kit, which surprises me. And I've actually jumped on the SC Project website and they actually don't do any instructions for fitting the exhaust, which is bizarre because other exhaust manufacturers do. Anyway, that aside, it's not gonna be a complicated fit. So we've got the very nice titanium exhaust. We've got a bag with uh, some exhaust clips and nuts and bolts. We have the link pipe. We have some ceramic paste. We have the heat shield. And then we've got some stickers, which are just to go on here somewhere because they're not heat resistant. And then we have an instruction manual and a maintenance and care kind of manual and warranty. But that really doesn't tell you anything whatsoever. And then we have a type approval certificate, which I'll open up and show you here. And that is everything that we get in the box. So I think what we're gonna do now is move my doggies out of the way, take the old exhaust off and put that one on. So what we're gonna do now is just remove the original exhaust. Obviously make sure the engine and the bike is cold before you start working on it, otherwise you're gonna burn yourself. So Torx T25 screwdriver is what we're gonna use first. And um, we're just gonna remove these three screws from the heat shield. So that's the heat shield off. Next and then 13 mil socket. There we go. So just gonna waggle that around a little bit so that's nice and loose, but obviously just leaving the nut on there. So I've just put a couple of cushions down on the floor here. That's where we're gonna put the exhaust. Put a towel down there or something so you don't scratch it. Torx T40 and undo the screw in here. That's off. And then we just got a bit of a waggle just to free it up a little bit. There's a little disc behind here. So keep all the discs and things that fall out because we're going to use those later. And here it comes. A bit more, take your time. And that is one OEM exhaust removed. 
So what we've got to do now is just remove all these bits from here and then we transfer them to the new exhaust and that only took a couple of minutes. So with all the stuff off, this is what we're left with with the exhaust valve down here. And with all the stuff off, it's not a bad idea actually to get in there and give stuff a little bit of a clean. So it's such a shame that SC Project don't give you a detailed set of instructions, either in the box or some that you can download, but there we go. That's just one of those things. So that's the spacer that was on the back of the OEM exhaust, so keep that somewhere safe. And then we just have to remove all this and then pop it through the new exhaust hole. So remove the bolt and then this bit comes off, no problem at all. And then you can just push this out through the back and then just push this washer, this rubber grommet thing out. If it doesn't come out, just put a little bit of spit on it just to lube it up a little bit and then just push it out like that. And that all then gets transferred onto there. So now we've just got to put all this through the hole. And on the back side of this, there's a little bit of writing in case you're not sure which way around it goes. So the writing goes away from you. So let's just pop this through the hole. I may just put a little bit of spit on there just to help it through. Other forms of lubrication are available, as they say. Take it from the other side and that is all the way through so that's that bit done that bit through the back we've got the space that will go sit between the rubber and the bracket that this that that goes onto and then we have that and then that so i'm just going to leave that as it is so next thing we need to do now is just prepare the link pipe. So I've opened my little bag of goodies, as you can see here, and I've checked that everything is correct. So we're not missing any pieces. So take the little clip and then there's a sort of male part. So put the male part, there's the link pipe. So it goes on like that and give it a good old push. So finally, that's that clip on. And then the same for here. Again, the male part goes towards the link pipe like that. So that's the link pipe prepared. So the next thing we're gonna do is take the ceramic paste and this just makes the exhaust go on slightly easier apparently. And then if you need to take off at any time in the future, it just makes getting off a little bit easier as well. So again, there's no instructions on how much to put on. So I've had a look on the, the uh, internet on YouTube and seen somebody put it on an Aprilia and all we're going to do is wipe a little bit on the inside of the link pipe here so there you go that's how much I put on there and then on the inside of the end can as well we just put some more on so just around the inside here and then finally we'll just give this a little bit of a wipe to get any dirt off there and put a little bit on there and then just wipe it around and I think we are good to go with that so what we're going to do now is there's the exhaust clip there's the nut side facing us and then just pop that over the link pipe you can just undo the nut if it doesn't go over so just pop that over there and then put the link pipe over the suitably ceramically pasted exhaust and there we go so i've still got loads of this ceramic paste left so not forgetting to put some on the outside of the link pipe there we go job done so this is a bit i'm really looking forward to so we've got our exhaust hanger that's all neatly prepared and not forgetting the disc which goes on here and then you may just have to waggle the link pipe around so that the exhaust fits properly and then get the disc at the back there and then just waggle it about. Just take your time until that bolt lines up with the hole and then you can move the link pipe around and get a better fit. So that's just slid on quite nicely. So that's in there, Torx T40, just gonna do it up. Just a bit of a waggle, just so it sits properly. That'll be the BBC News. So happy with that and then just waggle the link pipe around a little bit so everything's seated nice and securely, which is what it is. 
And then what I'm going to do is, I haven't got a spring puller, so we need to put the spring on the lower section here. So what I use is a zip tie. So there's the spring, just pop it on there. And then there's my zip tie. And then what I do is that. And that is on, and then I just cut that. So all I'm going to do now is just wipe any of that excess ceramic paste off. Right, happy that's nice and clean. So I'm just going to offer up the heat shield just to make sure that exhaust bracket here is not going to foul it at all. So if I'm happy with that, which I am, I'm then going to do this up to 22 newton meters. And you may just have to hold the bracket on the top here just to stop it spinning around. There we go, 22 newton meters or whatever your handbook tells you to do up to, but I've gone for 22 newton meters. And then finally, your Torx T40, and this one I set to 19 newton meters on the torque wrench. There we go, 19 newton meters. So finally then, the most complicated bit of the lot, take your heat shield and pop the little screw in the top, and then you've got the washer here, and it's got a bit of a lip on it, so the lip goes on that side, and then, hold on to the, the washer like that, otherwise it is going to fall off and it needs to go onto there. So that's where the screw's got to go through. So basically keep holding it behind the heat shields, the washer, and then you'll feel the, the screw drop into the hole and you know you haven't lost the washer. So just do that up and that's the most complicated bit of the hole installed really. And then you've got the washer for the lower hole here. Just pull the heat guard back a little bit and then just try and sandwich the washer between the back of the heat guard and the bracket. And then when you're happy with that screw, try and find the hole and then there we go, we're in. Yeah, we haven't lost any screws. The one in the top there is still there screw and washer and this screw just screws into the OEM bracket behind it so you, in the pack you only have two brackets to attach to the link pipe so don't, don't worry if you think there's a third one missing you utilize the OEM one here so there we go pop that behind there hopefully it's not going to fall off and that is good and lastly folks, 3mm Allen key, just to do those three screws up on the heat shield. And that is it. Don't do these up too tight, just do them up enough so you don't split the heat shield. So that's the install complete. Now before we fire it up, I don't know if you're aware, certainly SC Project don't tell you, but with your grubby fingers, I did wash my fingers before we started this. The titanium exhaust, if you don't clean it before you fire it up and it gets warm you could get some burn marks in it so the best thing to do is WD-40 so nice clean cloth the old WD-40 and then just give it a wipe SC project don't say anything about the caring of your exhausts on their site so I think that's pretty poor actually unless I've missed something on the website if I have SC project please let me know Try not to get any WD-40 on your wheels as well. So really happy with the way it's gone on. I would say realistically, I know I've been videoing, but from start to finish, that will take you quarter of an hour max. Yeah, quarter of an hour, easy peasy that one. Right, let's start the bike. <laughs> I am excited about this one, guys. Folks, I'm sure you're going to agree that that exhaust did sound a little bit fruity and barky on startup, but that was in the man cave with the garage door shut. So what I have done before I took the BMW exhaust off, I actually videoed it at tick over 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 and 5,000 revs and then whipped the exhaust off and put the SC Project exhaust on. So I'm going to do exactly the same now with the new exhaust on and then we'll just cut between the exhaust and just see what the difference is.
that'll give you some idea between old and new. All that remains for me to do is put my helmet and jacket on and gloves and go out for a spin and give it a bit of a test. So without further ado, let's go. Okay folks, well I'm going to sum up now in relation to the SC Project exhaust. Do I like it? Absolutely, yes I do. It's a big thumbs up from me, wherever the camera is. Yeah, I really like it. Fairly straightforward to fit. It's a nice quality product. I really like it. Very good price point and it's not overly noisy. It's Euro 5 compliant. It's got a nice bark to it and it pops and crackles every now and again as you may have heard in the video. If you're in the market for an exhaust and you fancy an SC Project exhaust, go and look on their internet site. All the details are down below here somewhere. And power wise, I'll put the dyno graph up here. You're gonna get about another 2.9 horsepower maximum and a few more Newton meters of torque. So that's it folks, as ever ride safe. And I'm now gonna go home and put this bike back in the garage because it is gonna absolutely chuck it down in a bit. Take care, ride safe, and see you again soon in the next video.